Hello everyone, Spectre here and welcome to Star Citizen. So today is the day 8 of the IAE 2953. So this showroom is about the ships from Misk as well as the Mirai. So before further ado, let's get to it first. Now in front of you, you're looking at the whole A, which is a kind of single seat freighter. So this ship is quite amazing as a single seat freighter because you can hold up to 64 SU worth of cargo. Of course originally it doesn't look like this, it's just a tiny bit of cargo but like now, right now it can hold like 64 SU worth, worth of cargo. Now when you hold the cargo, the own, I mean the way you hold it is like this thing will extend and you've got some cargo panels in here and at that point you can just simply slap so those cargo containers on it. So let's get inside the ship and take a look first. And it will be if I this door. This one here, uh, you can see you got a um, kind of um, a lot of ship modules hanging around here. You can press it and open it if you want it. And uh, you have a place for you to put your undersuit or like armor. And at the back, you can see there's a kind of um, place for you to sleep. And this thing is double as an escape pod. So if things go sideways, you can lie down and eject yourself in space. Very nice um, design for a single seat freighter. And you've got a, like a weapon lockers in here to hold your guns. This is a pilot seat. So weaponry wise you've got two size 1 laser repeaters and that's all the armament you've got because um, it's a freighter after all you don't have missiles. But comparing to the other freighters or freelancers I think that the visibility of this ship is quite good. At least um, according to my um, taste is really good. Alright let's get out of here. Right next to it is the Starfarer, it's the Starfarer Gemini. It's a refuel tanker. It's a military type refuel tanker as well, compared to the Starfarer over there. So it means that you have a stronger fire power as well as armor in the future. But right now armor is not really a thing yet, so it means that both Starfarer and Starfarer Gemini will share the same feature. But the fun fact is that the Gemini, although it got more features, uh, I mean stronger firepower, but still, it would be cheaper compared to the Staff Era over there, so it's quite um, kind of interesting. To be honest, this ship is a kind of behemoth, um, so it's quite large, it means. But the only way for you to get in and out of the ship is via that ramp. Uh, you can see a lot of fuel tankers in here. Uh, in the future, you can swap them out into different things, like cargo containers, or even someone is going to be very, um, like, um, creative by putting some snuff fighters in here, so that you can be doubled as a kind of like snuff fighter carrier. But right now, you can only stuck with these fuel tankers, and you got a very large refueling tube in the middle which will extend it when you're refueling. Right now, Starfarer is still having some sort of bug um, that the ramp is not going to come down, so even though they fixed the interior, still it's not going to be able for people to visit inside. So this is the old Prospector. It is a small, tiny uh, mining ship. So, in here, there's a hidden feature of the ship which is the kind of refinery in here. So this mini refinery is supposed to be designed as like maybe refining some hand mining materials like hadonite, uh, dolophine and alpharite but it turns out they cancelled it so that's why the refinery they keep it but like um, there's no nothing you can do with it. 
So these pallets, uh, right now you can detach them, but via those um, multi tools. Uh, of course, if you're mining containers and before it uh, before it explodes, then you can eject it in space. But if you want to th get the whole thing out, then you need to use the multi tools. All right, so let's get inside the ship and take a look again. So the design is quite old, yes, and uh, you got a bed and some uh, panels for you to maintain those uh, mining minerals, and you got a toilet in here, not the best I see this manufacturer. which is not functional right now, yes, yeah, it's functional now, and you got a cockpit in here. As a mining vessel, I would say that this glass, like, um, like, um, glass like um, bridge cockpit is quite good because it's increased your visibilities around you and yes two size one laser repeaters would be the only weapon you got and press M you can call out these mining head Even with the crowds, I definitely think the IAE is worth going to. Behind the prospector, you can see there's a Starfarer, which is a civilian type of Starfarer. So, the only feature you can tell is different is that uh, the nose mount missiles, um, the Gemini got nose mount missiles, while this um, Starfarer doesn't. And actually, there's another thing you can define them, which is uh, from the engines, but usually no one would cares about it, so that's why I didn't mention about it. Again, you got a lot of fuel tankers in here. You can change them into like cargo containers maybe in the future. So look at the engines, it's roundish, right? And for the Gemini, I believe that those are a little bit more rectangular. So that's why uh, you can tell the differences. But anyway, since the ramp itself is still bugged uh, for all the Starfarers, so it means that visiting in the interior of a ship is not an option. Just like this. It's supposed to have a ramp come down here, but yeah, you can see the ramp is gone. In the mid section of the showroom, you can see there's a Hall C, which is a kind of new ship right now for Misk um, family. So it's a very huge behemoth, and I believe that like a few days ago, I talked about the C2 Hercules Starlifter. I mentioned it as like a ship that can carry the most cargo capacity, which is wrong obviously, because I was trying to say that it should be the transport. Okay, so it means that um, C2 Hercules Starlifter is a transport that can hold the most cargo capacity, because this behemoth, the whole C, can hold up to 4,000, I mean, more than 4,000 SU worth of cargo. So that's why it replaced the C2 Hercules Starlifter to become something that is... Sorry about that. Alright, so let's call up the elevator like this and get inside the ship. Alright, so to be honest, right now I don't know whether it's a bug or not, but the ladders is kind of annoying, which will trap people. So I will try to avoid it, uh, until, wait until the end to visit that, those areas. But anyway, you got an airlock in here to get out of um, the ship in space, not not when you are like landed on the surface, because you will kill yourself. Now you got some places for you to put your undersuit or armor in here. Uh, by the way, you've got different kind of like uh, position uh, or personnel to put their armor so that you don't need to fight against each other for what kind of armor you want to take. And uh, you got a uh, weapon lockers in here before you head out in space, probably. 
you got an area for you to have some sort of a ship modules. And here on the left hand side, you can see there's a bridge in here. Right now, the captain's seat is really not useful, so you don't need to use it. The pilot seat is here, so if you want to fly the ship, you need to sit in here instead of the captain's seat. Weapon-wise, uh, weapon you've got um, two size 3 laser repeaters, and that's all the weapon reads you've got for the pilot. And visibility-wise, uh, it's slightly better than um, the, you know, um, Freelancer, but still, it's not as good as the whole A, the tiny little whole series brother. And this is the cold pilot seat. Which you need to be patient a little bit. Yes. So from this seat, uh, this seat can actually allow you to enter the remote turret station, which is here, I believe. Uh, why is not responding again? Okay, there you go. So these remote turrets are size 3 laser repeaters, so you can defend the ship um, by using only one personnel, which is very very good. So two of them located like um, at the at the top and two of them located at the bottom of the ship, I believe. Over here, you got a lot of escape pods in here, as well as some, uh, I believe that, um, some other ship, ship modules, but anyway, it's not accessible right now, because it's not physicalized yet. Over here, you can see there's a spine. So when the ship is extended, and uh, this spine is the only way for you to get back and forth from the bridge to the engine room. So right here is the engineering station and engine room. The elevator I believe that is bugged, so that's why you can't call out anything in here. You have two floors in total. Uh, by the way, you've got a, like a access point for the engineering station. Uh, right now, as I said, the ladder itself is kind of annoying, so I'm not going to use it right now. Um, I mean, yeah, why not? I, I will use it then. So if it's bugged and trapped my character, I will just simply like um, cut the video a little bit. Okay, so um, I actually go to the second floor of the engineering room, which you got a very tiny um, escape pod in here for your engineer. Uh, engineer. So if he's stuck in here and before the ship explodes, then at least. Uh, he can escape from the ship instead of go all the way down and go to the escape pods. And you got some ship modules in here for you to repair, which is very, very fantastic. And let's go up there again and experience how to be trapped by letters. Alright. So, this place is going to be something like this here. So basically, this is a, a kind of like airlock again to access to the exterior of the ship. So that's why you can see the engineer got the undersuit um, place in here. So basically, it's not very useful in this area. So yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's get down there, hope that it's not that bugged.
All right, in the mid section, you can still see a ladder, which is annoying. And this one will lead you to an area of the crew quarter as well as the engineer. I mean, the workstation for your, you know. Um. All right. So uh, after fighting for a while, then uh, lastly, uh, I can get up from the ladder. And now this one here is a station for you to um, to handle those tractor beams which uh, allows you to load up your ship and um, yeah basically yeah like this you can access to those remote control turret like this then you can see these are the tractor beams for you to like handle those ships contain I mean um, those shipments and containers. But of course right now they are going to like um, magically load up to your ship. So unless you are trying to rearrange your containers, if not you don't need to use it. On the back of it, it would be the crew quarter, uh, which is very amazing. You got a full size kitchen in here, in this area. And you got a lot of bunk beds as well, but these are just beds, not escape pods. So uh, because you got plenty of escape pods at the downstairs, so you don't need to use it in here. All right. So again, I need to um, try to go. All right. Oh my god. Okay. Good. So sorry about that. All right then. So let's move on to the other ships. So in this showroom, the first ship that you can encounter in here, it would be the Miss, the Freelancer Miss. So because this showroom is about all the freelancers. Okay, so the Miss itself is a military type of freelancer series. So it means that you got more firepower comparing to the other um, freelancer series of ships. So uh, the back in here is um, one of the ways you can get inside the ship. For the cargo bay in here is similar to the Freelancer, um, but you can only house like 36 SU worth of cargo, uh, which is like smaller cargo capacity due to your weaponries occupied some sort of areas. In order to get inside this turret in here, you need to... Uh, wait a minute, not like this. Let me see, I forgot how... Yeah, there you go. Alright, so this turret um, is actually housing two size two laser repeaters. So, yeah. Let's see. I'll switch it on. How on? Out there. Yeah, there you go. Yep, something looks like this. All right. It can defend like the upper part of the ship, but you can't really engage anything straightforward of the ship. So just be aware of it. Alright, so for some people, they actually will try to fit in like a mining rock in here. But just like the other freelancer, except for the max, um, I won't suggest you to do that because you need to clip your vehicles um, uh, with a wheel and to the ramp and something like that. So it's quite annoying. So in here is the area for you to see those missiles and it looks like um, a kind of revolver to rotate. and like feeding those um, missile bay up there and in here you can see like uh, extra cargo capacity uh, cargo space in here and this is a living quarter for your crew um, these beds can double as an escape pods so you can sleep here and eject yourself at the front you can see there's four seats in here for your crews and yourself and you've got the pilot seat over here So you've got four size three laser cannons as your weapon race uh, because um, of the turret.
turret at the cheek of the ship. Missile-wise, I believe that you got 28 missiles in total. All of them are size 3 missiles, which is quite powerful. So the co-pilot seats uh, actually have nothing to do except for helping you to launch some missiles as well as communicate and actually nothing you can do with it. So let's exit the ship fire here, which is the second entrance you can consider of a ship. In the middle of the showroom you can see there's a Freelancer Max which is the cargo variant of the Freelancer uh, and also one of the famous Freelancers among all the other Freelancers because it can carry up to 120 SU worth of cargo Again, you can enter the turret fire here and uh, here's the place for you to hold those cargoes uh, but one thing for sure is that the Max can load up the rock easily compared to the other Freelancers which is why people like this ship a lot so up here, similar to what you can see for the mist, and uh, actually the other freelancers will share the same interiors at the front, the bridge as well. So basically they are the same thing, so that's why I'm not going to go through everything. At the side you can see there's the third, the freelancer third. Expedition ship though, uh, based on freelancer series, uh, but comparing to the other freelancers, I would consider this ship is not very good looking because it got a lot of things sticking out. Those are sensor rays and probably like um, like radars and stuff for you to detect and like do some th sort of like uh, information collection in the in some sort of uncharted area. So again, this is the only way for you to get inside of the ship. So basically the turret itself is the same thing. And uh, here you can house 36 SU worth of cargo again. But in the mid section you can see these kind of refineries in here. Uh, these are supposed to be for you to collect some sort of gas cloud things and refine it as a, some sort of uh, fuel for you to continue with the journey. Uh, but right now it's not very useful, so just simply as a kind of things that's stuck on your ship until it's getting useful in the future. You got extra cargo space in here again. Crew quarters, as well as a bridge up there. Lastly, this is a basic type of Freelancer. 66 SU worth of cargo space. Uh, it's rentable though, uh, I mean I uh, normally in game as well. Like um, since it's free flight of course everyone can rent it but um, if you want to rent it in some refineries like except for I mean outside of free flight um, time then yes you can still do that. People used to do this a lot. Okay, and uh, here is a space for you to house those 66 SU worth of cargo again. So basically the interior would be so similar. Okay, so let's go to the other place, I mean showroom. In front of you you can see this is Tana, Reliant Tana. It's a combat variant of the Reliant series. So, the only way to enter the ship is via here. And you can see there's a space for one SU worth of cargo space. And a bunk bed, I believe that is not really so called doubled as um, escape pods, uh, just beds in here. But still, you can like uh, use it to lock out and lock back in but just be aware um, the last time I checked still the box is going on but right now they may change it I don't know but yeah when you lock out from the ship 
uh, via the bed and log back in and it turns out um, the whole thing was stuck because this thing will rotate and this door will be closed at that time so you can't really do anything except for crying for help all right so you got a washroom in here and a gun rack in here since it's an old ship so uh, nothing for you to interact with you got a co-pilot seat and a pilot seat over here since it's a misc ship they're using Xi'an technology so it means that when you are going to fly the ship they will feature of the ship is to like transforming so just be aware don't retract uh, your landing gear yet until you finish like leaving the hangar if not you have a higher possibility to hit a hangar door now you can see you can you got like two size three laser cannons and two size one laser cannons I believe those are size one all right and uh, missile wise you got 20 missiles in total all of them are size 2 which is quite powerful at the side of it i believe that this one is the core is a cargo variant of the reliance series because of these ball shaped turret that house two size twos each again from this base you can enter the ship but comparing to the last time I checked on this ship, the interior they improved it a lot, which is clean and also quite amazing to me. Uh, because um, the last time I checked about the ship is like looks like something like uh, sorry about that, um, the Aegis ship, um, the cargo grid, but now they changed it, which is very very good. It looks clean and like um, different. You got like 6 SU worth of cargo space, but of course you can put a golf car in here if you want it. Again, in here you can't in, uh, interact with anything. And uh, from here, you enter the pilot seat. So, it re I mean, yeah, that's good, excellent. Now, you have four size 2 laser repeaters and two size ones uh, laser cannons missile wise you got four size twos which is enough for you to defend your ship but if you talk about like long-term fighting I believe that the tannin would be a little bit better okay, with this yellow looking reliant it is a Marco so you got a camera in here um, so um, basically you can consider this ship is a kind of news report ship so you don't have so many firepower, you only have like these two weapons in here. Uh, again, from here you can see, it, this ship doesn't come up with any kind of cargo capacity because um, it's being occupied by this news report station. And you got a very tiny data uh, um, database in here. Uh, you got washrooms and beds in here as well. Again, this is the only way for you to enter the ship here, yeah, the pilot seat, I mean, um, like this. Weapon wise, you got, um, I believe that those are size 2 weapons. Yeah, size 2 weapons, I believe. And uh, missile wise, two, I mean, 4 size 2 missiles. At the side of it, you can see there's a Reliance Sen, which is a scientific research ship. Again, you got the camera in here, and uh, yeah. So the armament would be similar to the Marco, but the interior will be a little bit different because when you enter the ship, you can see there's got a research uh, station in here, which you can actually cut frogs in here, and beds in here. Uh, washroom in here again so I believe that the weapon this I mean loadout would be the same as the Marco which is I'm going to move on yep, to the next two size two um, laser cannons as well as yeah four size two missiles Alright, 
So, let's move on. In the mid section, you can see you've got real life theories series. So, theory, which is the original type, theory mix, which is a missile type, and also the theory um, LX, which is the racing type. So, theory itself is doesn't uh, is a not snuff fighter series. Um, so you don't have any kind of um, quantum drives on these ships. So just be aware, you need to really have a mothership to carry these ships around. Uh, but for firepower wise, you've got a very huge firepower, large firepower here. At least it looks like a turret with wings or engines. Uh, you've got full size 2 laser repeaters and you've got full size 2 missiles. Comparing to the other fighters with quantum drives, this thing is really taking, I mean, can like really, um, I mean, can hit hard. And to be honest, if you talk about uh, these kind of theory series of snub fighters, it's supposed for you to do some sort of local defense. And also, quality is not really an issue because it depends on quantity. Yeah, you swarm the enemy with numbers. And here comes a mix, which is a missile variant of the Fury series. And I believe that you've got an total 20 missiles in total and you don't have any guns so just be aware uh, this one is really for long term I mean long distance engagement 8 size 1 12 size 2 missiles which is very very powerful and you've got a you've got a shield blast in here which you've got some sort of like you know yeah you can see through the armor, which is quite amazing. The last thing is about the LX, which is a racing variant of the Fury series. So instead of having all the guns surrounding the ship, uh, obstructing your view, um, this thing doesn't come up with any kind of armament. So basically, those guns are no longer obstructing your view, which is very, very fantastic. Unlike some sort of racing ship, you've got tons of uh, luxurious things like bears, washrooms, as well as cargo bay. Alright, this thing is really show your speed only. But in return, no armament at all, so not for fighting. And all the Fury ships got similar features. You can actually like call out a lot of kind of like ship modules in here at the side. So it's just like fully packed like this, which is quite amazing. And easy to be maintained. Downstairs you can see a lot of razors in here. And these are supposed to be misc razors as you can see. But uh, for some reasons I found some different sources they said that they transfer into like Mirai uh, ship manufacturers. Maybe because they try to like, uh, I mean save us some space for misc as Miss got a lot of ships while, you know, um, like Mirai got a few only. So this one is the Razor itself, alright? You can see actually from this logo it says Mirai, while this one says Misk, which uh, I think that they just simply reuse um, the original uh, sign, the posters in here, and correct something down there but forgot about this. But anyway, this is a razor. Mirai razor, not misc anymore. This is the LX, luxurious type. As well as this EX, which is the stealth fighter. Personally, I really like um, the sound of the razor because like um, it sounds so uh, cool, I would say. 
But anyway, if you have some sort of phobia uh, when you're staying in a very tight area, then you need to be aware. Don't get inside of the ship because it's really, you know, everything is really like just put it right in front of a face. Um, you don't have any rooms for that. Okay, even for the head itself here, you can see. All right. So for the LX in here, you got I believe that those two are shotguns. Uh, size 2 weapons, uh, all I know is about uh, size 2 weapons. These two are missiles, and I believe that those are size 1 missiles. In the middle is the LX. I believe that um, even though it's called luxurious, but I don't really know what kind of luxury you can experience. The interior would be the same, just the armament loadout would be different of the stock armament, of course, I mean. Again, uh, you got like, um, these are two size um, twos weapons and uh, no missiles. Oh, by the way, uh, I just need to say that the EX over there, yeah, I forgot about it. Even though it's called like a stealth fighter, but still, um, it's not very stealthy though. Just be aware of it. Don't be tricked by the name. And LX as a like a razor. I mean, the ra racing ship. Again, like this to get inside of a ship. And two size two laser repeaters for this loadout, and two size one missiles. All right, let's move on. In the middle, you can see this is the Endeavor, uh, which is a scientific research ship. Uh, it's a modular ship, though. I believe that this is one of the most earliest type of ship that applies to modular concept. And this one is really like modular because we've got different kind of like um, modules you can purchase alongside with it. So, for example, like. Uh, hospital, the medical bay, um, the hangar, um, the habitation, I mean, um, not habitation, sorry, um, like the greenhouses as well as like the scanner things. So basically, um, you can purchase different kind of modules to apply to your ship so that it will be like either multi uh, like function or maybe just simply focus on one thing and very specialize on it. Okay. So uh, some people may also say that if you apply to greenhouses, you may grow some drugs, uh, make produce some drugs as well, which is very, very fantastic. I mean, if those drugs are legal, if it's illegal, then well, it's bad. And uh, if you're having some medical um, bay in here, which is quite good for like rescue missions. And fun fact is that this thing got the command modules and the ship itself. So the command modules as a ship can fly off to different places, can be separate from the main part of the ship, just like uh, what you did with a caterpillar. But the fact is that you can't really move the main part of the ship until this command modules attached it again. So just be aware of it. But right now it's still in concept and it's nothing near close uh, like uh, to flyable so uh, if you purchase one of these then uh, well just good luck with that I hope I sincerely hope that they can create something that you hope in the middle of the showroom you can see this one is a exp an expanse which is a small refinery ship uh, is it can consider as a kind of companion to like the prospector, you can see these pallets, it's just like prospector pallets in here. You've got like 64 SU worth of cargo space. Um, so you can just simply uh, attach these pallets and refine those minerals inside of those pallets. Uh, normally for space stations, you spend like hours or even days to refine something due to the workload of it. But for this expense, uh, according to what CIG said, it's supposed to have a, like a very short I mean, short amount of time, uh, far shorter period of time to refine the things on board of the ship. 
Of course, if you are talk about like um, uh, do it with your friends, like do mining with friends, then well, if they mine something like Quantaniums, then this ship it will be very like helpful because you can just simply refine those Quantanium, stabilize them instead of like uh, having them to be very extremely like um, reactive uh, to uh, like before you can refine them and uh, your ship is kind of like this quite a long distance away from any kind of refineries and that would be a big problem right Lastly here you can see this is the Odyssey which is a kind of ship that raised a lot of argument especially when the time that it was introduced like two years ago I believe that I made a video about it like the first ship analyzing video is about the ship in here because when CRG introduced this ship um, they said that this is the most I mean the best uh, expedition ship in the game but it turns out it repeated the same feature I mean CRG said the same thing when they just simply you know um, introducing the Enfield Carrack uh, so that's why people are very upset about it and raise a lot of arguments but anyway for me this ship is a little bit I mean the feeling of it it looks like home because well um, of the outlook of it and also this ship got a kind of feature is that well um, you can mine quantanium I mean quantanium only for your fuel so you got an input onboard refinery for those quantum fuel um, refinement and uh, to apply it to your fuel uh, tank so that to extend your traveling range even though you're in a remote area but still those hydrogen um, uh, like fuel you need to refuel it um, time to time you can't really do anything with it you can't refine it via like mining anything so just be aware of it all right then so that's it for today's video about um the miss and mid eye uh, showroom i hope you enjoy and i shall see you guys next time then bye bye